As if you didn't already know, I'm Kit Cope, and uh, I actually became a fighter in a uh, in an accidental manner. I was actually uh, I was a wrestler in high school, and which is not a lot of people know. And then I uh, I needed something to help keep me in shape in between wrestling seasons, so I went and I found Muay Thai. I just happened to be super good at it, and so I left wrestling for Muay Thai. Did Muay Thai for about 12 years before I decided to put the two together and become an MMA fighter. What's the biggest challenge for you as a fighter? I would say the biggest challenge that I've had so far as a fighter has been uh, my body breaking. I've, I've had really bad luck here at the beginning of my Muay or at the beginning of my MMA career. I got uh, I uh, let's see I I, uh, I got a shoulder reconstruction busted out my shoulder there so I got that rebuilt I got a new knee uh, last year I had a cool rib injury which is actually kind of permanent there um, so I just I keep breaking so really like I guess the challenge is to pull off fights without my body breaking how long do you see yourself fighting for how many more fights are in the I probably got another I mean I'm I just turned 31 so I probably got another six, seven, eight years to go. And I'm actually, I'm just getting better. I'm getting, I'm my jujitsu games all coming together. I mean, I'm actually like winning jujitsu tournaments and stuff now. Uh, my wrestling's coming back. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm becoming a better fighter. So I got, I got all kinds of time. Do you think that fighters should have a union? Oh, that is a very controversial question. Uh, yes, yes. I definitely think that we should, uh, I mean, at least for some amount of time, uh, we need to kind of get together, we need to kind of stand for something, and, and every other sport has done it. Every other sport has been to the point where management is taking advantage of them, usually financially, and so then they have to unite, unionize, and then actually get like fair wage and, and fair rules and that kind of thing. Um, right now, there's 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 too many guys that are so eager to join the to join the ranks, so eager to get in the sport. I mean, it, they don't promoters really don't have to pay anything because MMA is going to be an exciting sport no matter who's doing it. You know, it's still going to be exciting. And so for those of us who are actually competing at the top level, you know, that's, sure, we're, we're in kind of an upper echelon, you know, uh, uh, more of an elite thing, but that's that's only a couple of the shows in the grand scheme of things, you know, a couple, just a couple of the big promoters in the grand scheme of things. And there's such a disparity between the guys that are just getting into, even, in, let's say, UFC, the guys that are just getting in, making two and two, and then the guys that are at the top making you know close to a million dollars, so there's that's that's a pretty big disparity there. So we need to actually the, making two thousand dollars for an MMA fight is pretty fucking ridiculous. So if if that necessitates unionizing, then I'm I'm all for it. Well, what's next for you in your career? Who are you fighting? And what show? Uh, I don't actually. I've got I've got a show. I've got a, a, a fight. September 27th is what the latest thing that I've heard. I don't have an opponent, as far as I know. I don't know. Uh, it's supposed to be at the it's a WFC at the Hard Rock, the Seminole Hard Rock in Florida. And uh, what do you want to accomplish in your career? What's your goals? Uh, my, I mean, I really don't have like a final goal. I, I realize that I sh probably shouldn't do that to myself. Because in Muay Thai, I made the goal of be a professional Muay Thai fighter. And then, I made the goal of get a world title. And then, after four of those, I made the goal of um, get a bare knuckle title. And then after that, I mean, if you, if you set a goal, I mean, I, I think you're kind of limiting yourself. I just want to be uh, as good as I can be. I want to be as good as I can be because I know that that means world titles that's that's who I am so if I'm as good as I can be then really I'm gonna I'm gonna exceed everybody else's expectations
by bar. Do you have any pre fight rituals or superstitions or anything? Uh, you know what? I kind of have, I, I don't know if they, you would call them superstitions or rituals or, or whatnot, but um, just the, the things that I've done ever since the beginning, um, for no particular reason, I just continue doing because I've, you know, I've been successful and so, you know, don't fix it if it's not broke, you know, like the, uh, the uh, what would you call it, abstinence, the, the two weeks of abstinence before a fight. There's, um, you know, the pre-fight meal is always the same. Uh, what is your pre-fight meal? Uh, that's actually a secret that I cannot disclose. It's it's actually my my pre-fight meal is is so. Um, uh, what would you say? Uh, scientifically engineered that I have to actually keep that part of my camp secret. And, uh going in five years? Uh, you know what? There, I don't have any predictions at all for this sport because I, I don't think it equates to anything, any other sport that is that has transpired so far. I don't think that uh, boxing set a precedence for it. I think that we're a completely different venue, a completely different path than boxing. We didn't start out the same. We're not going to end up the same. Um, I, I don't think that there's a, a, a precedence set for MMA. I mean, I, right now, I, I'm thinking, once again, it's like a personal goal. I, I think that it's going to far exceed everybody's expectations. And do you have a joke you tell us? A joke? Yeah. <laughs> sure. I got a great joke. I got a great joke. Uh, I actually heard while golfing the other day with Carrie Hart. Um, Where are you going? Carrie Hart? Wrestler. Is there a wrestler named Carrie yeah. Hart? Oh, I thought it Carrie Hart. No, Carrie Hart, the uh, the motocross guy. Oh, the, the first dude to ever do a backflip on a motorcycle. That guy. Um, what do you get when you cross a brown chicken and a brown cow? Brown chicken, brown cow. It's so retarded, but it makes everybody chuckle. Tell that joke. Oh, did he really? Yeah, I got that on camera. That's awesome. I love that joke because everybody else thinks you're going to tell like a Mexican joke or something like that, like a racial joke, or and then it's just so retarded. I love it. Thanks, man. Absolutely, dude.